Yvonne Solis joins us. She is a life transformation coach, course instructor, and the author of several books, including this one, Lessons in Surviving Suicide, A Letter to My Daughter. And she was foisted into this world back in uh, 2005, and she has many powerful things to say that I think can really help a lot of people. Vaughn, thanks so much for coming on. You're very welcome, and thank you for having me, Kate. It's wonderful to be here. So let's talk about your book and writing this book. And first of all, what happened that put you into this world in the first place? It had to be a shock. Correct. So uh, I lost my 22-year-old daughter to suicide in uh, July 2005. And so it was obviously an extremely shocking, traumatic um, time. And threw uh, myself and our whole entire family, including extended members, into uh, a world that just was, uh, you know, upside down and spinning all around. And nobody knew what was going on uh, for several years. And so uh, basically through a process of uh, many years, you know, many things, uh, including writing the first two books, I basically... um, you know, uh, the experience led me to journaling a lot of my thoughts and uh, experiences that ultimately turned into this book that we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so um, that had to be powerful to be able to journal because then you get everything out too. And what can people expect when they read it? How have you written this book and in, in breaking it down in the chapters? Right, so as part of the journaling, I decided that if I spoke from my heart uh, and uh, spoke directly to my daughter, her name was Jenea, and um, just, you know, let her know, and this was going on at about the, you know, uh, 14-year point of, you know, 13, 14 years after losing her, and I was really struggling with, um, you know, why was I not able to get over this loss in the way I wanted to, in the way that I could have my life back. So that is how I ultimately started to approach it is, uh, you know, speaking about all the emotions, uh, all of those things, how I was being hard on myself um, that was, you know, making me feel guilty and responsible for her death and so on. So this ultimately turned into a book because I really wanted to share with other people basically a portrait of my thoughts, feelings, emotions that were basically damaging to my psyche in many ways, and preventing me from even being able to choose to want to have a different life. And this was keeping me from not only me, but from my current living family. So basically, I decided to uh, to publish it, turn it into a book and share with others who were newly bereaved or bereaved parents really struggling in their grief as a a guide, a comfort, a source of inspiration that changes in bereavement. Inspiration in bereavement is not what it is when you're not bereaved. And through the things that I've learned and experienced, provide as a means of introspection for them as they go through on their journey, that all of these things change over time. And I really basically wanted to give people you know, a source of comfort, because that is something that is really missing when you instantly become bereaved through child loss. I'm telling you, Kate, it feels like you are absolutely alone in this world, and there's very few resources and types of support out there to, you know, help bereaved parents steer their way. So this is just an offering from another bereaved parent to say, hey, this is what happened, this is what I experienced. I turned to whatever sources I could find in my very early years as well. I was just eager, eager, eager to, what did they go through? How did they do it? You know, what did, what was the ending? What happened for, for them? Did they ever recover? Did they find happiness? And so 15 years later, I'm now approaching 17 years in my bereavement, 
I thought, you know, this is enough time. I have enough time to look back, have some introspection, understand that was going on. And a a few key points I just want to mention for bereaved parents, new or longer term in their grief, is this is a a means of understanding how to navigate early grief, understand trauma, learn about the common pitfalls and how to uh, avoid some of them, or at least how I did, and ultimately go from surviving their child's suicide to living the life they really want, basically through choice. So that's what this book, sorry, that this book really guides them to do. Yeah, it's a perfect time for this too, Vaughn. As you know, sadly, this is happening more and more. Statistically, you can can look at it with the world that we live in. And so many people yeah. find themselves like you did, where you really are hungry for some answers some way to get through this dealing with your emotions like you like you say uh the issues Mm -hmm. that come up and you have the lessons learned at the end of every chapter too so that you say okay you're telling your story and then you're weaving it into what do they take out of it am i right it's exactly right and and the lessons well this is not a self-help book this is not a how to get over your child's death because, as I say in, in, in my conclusion in the, we'll just call it the chapter, but the letter on completion, it, and the lesson there is that it ultimately is everybody's, you know, everybody will take from their journey of grief what they need to uh, take from it and what they can take from it, but it's not an easy road. And if you look at, if for anybody not bereaved, you know, and they can watch movies about child loss or, you know, read about it in the news and just, oh, poor them, poor them. But when you're stuck in this world, I haven't met one bereaved parent over my years in any number of, of you know, situations that isn't searching still for something more that will help them understand the loss and basically heal. So, again, we need more work in this area And a foundation of my work, an absolute foundation of it, has been from the beginning and remains, uh, you know, information uh, that we share through experience to help mainstream society, uh, you know, change the way we view and understand grief and loss and make it a little bit easier for people who are bereaved to integrate back into uh, mainstream world as they heal and rebuild their life. This is my mission, and I've been on it for years and will remain on it with all of the work I currently do and will do in the future. It's very important to me. Well, I think it's wonderful that you um, have this book and and that that is your mission because you're absolutely right. I know some people in this situation is very, very difficult. There's no question about it, and there aren't a lot of places to go. So you definitely have one here. You can get Vaughn's book, Lessons in Surviving Suicide, A Letter to My Daughter. Vaughn Solis' book is on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Thanks for sharing your story and sharing it with us in the world. Thank you so much, Kate. I hope it helped people, bereaved or not bereaved, understand a little bit more about child loss and that we're just like everybody else. We just maybe have a few more challenges than someone who isn't bereaved, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's a good way to say that. Thanks, Vaughn. Thank you so much, Kate. 